In this video presentation, we're going to cover how to use FPX files for multiple users of Footprint Expert. In the library, we contain all the information about a specific footprint, including the footprint name, the case code, the manufacturer part number, and logical description. All of this data is ASCII file data. And the ASCII file can be opened up in Microsoft Word, Notepad, Excel spreadsheet. It's just a simple ASCII file. And everyone knows that only one person at a time can open it, the same exact ASCII file. Therefore, if you have three, four, five users, a footprint expert in your company, you have to assign one person who would become the master librarian to take care of the master library. And all the other users are going to be creating new FPX files for every PCB design layout and then submitting those FPX files over to the master librarian for importing into the master library. The regular librarians, and there's a master librarian. When the other librarians create a new FPX file, they just simply just click on create new file. It's a blank FPX file, and then they add parts to it. And then they save the file as save as the board name that they're working on or the project name or the project part number or anything that's related to that particular project or whatever. Then when they're finished with that FPX file, then they go ahead and give it to the master librarian, either via email, FTP, on the server somewhere, and they let the master librarian know. Now, when the master librarian imports all these other libraries from other users into the master, the, he makes the master file available to all the other users on the server, on the network server. So all users should have access to the master library in read-only format. In other words, they can't edit it, they can view it, and they can compare their BOM against it. Uh, they can see what parts are in the master library so they don't duplicate effort. But again, if you have more than one user, you have to assign somebody as the master librarian and everybody else becomes the other sub-librarians. Now, when you have a master library that's open and you import uh, somebody else's FPX file into the master, let's say that we're going to go ahead and import this, it'll find a duplicate entry like a part number. Okay, Part numbers are, are unique to every part in the world. The INEMI group way back in the year 2001 made an agreement that all part numbers will be unique to every component in the world. So that when you go to Google and search for a specific component manufacturer part number, that you'll only find only one occurrence of that from one manufacturer. Unless, of course, manufacturers acquisition each other and then you'll have uh, maybe possibly for, for a little bit uh, multiple hits on a specific part number. But when the master librarian imports an FPX file from one of the other users and it finds a duplicate part number, now the master librarian is responsible for trying to figure out which part number is the best. In other words, is part number in the master file, the new part number from the other librarian, which library part is the best, which the footprint, physical description, the logical description, which line item is the best, then the master librarian figures out and removes one of them. I think it's nearly impossible to have duplicate part numbers in an FPX file. To make the library read-only, you would just right-mouse click on the FPX file and select Properties and then check on the read-only status, and then put it on the server. Now, the master librarian would have, it wouldn't be read-only. The master librarian has full access to the master library to edit as, as he pleases, or she pleases, and, and then file save as, and then make that file read-only, then put it on the server for all the other librarians. That concludes the video presentation for FPX for multiple users, and listen to the outro for more information. Simplify, standardize, and automate an entire IPC and IEC compliant library. Detailed, accurate, reliable, professional. 
highest quality footprints, and 3D step models, clicks away. Many companies worldwide are easily generating their CAD libraries. You should too. Get a fully functional footprint expert evaluation license for any CAD format and demo today. Contact us at pcblibraries.com or call 847-557-2300.